suspect stopped in the case of a woman who's been missing for almost three weeks. Janine Cantanzaro was reported missing on December 2nd. Now police say they have a confession. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos has been working this story out of sunrise all day today. Roy, what's the latest? Lori, we're standing right outside of that victim's home. In fact, we have seen throughout the day family members and friends arriving here, adding to that makeshift memorial right there. You can see someone entering the home right there. Investigators tell us it is inside where that woman was killed. 50 year old Joseph Edward Traeger in cuffs as he was walked out of a Sunrise police car and into the Broward County Jail this morning. His arrest comes after detectives said he confessed to the murder of his wife, 50 year old Janine Ann Catanzaro. Police said Traeger reported her missing four days after she was last seen at her home in Sunrise on November 28th. Local 10 tried speaking with Traeger Wednesday, three weeks after his wife's disappearance, but he refused to answer our questions. And I have no comment at this moment. I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Do you know what happened? No. We watched as family and friends offered their condolences to the parents of Catanzaro. A makeshift memorial grew outside of her home, but it is inside where police said Traeger told them he killed her. According to the arrest report we obtained, Traeger spent weeks fabricating lies, trying to lead detectives in the wrong direction. But Thursday, police said he confessed to arriving to his wife's home and asked her if he could move back in. When she refused, Traeger said he snapped, forced her to the floor, covered her mouth to stop her screams before he stabbed her in the back of the neck with a kitchen knife. It wasn't just my worry, is that the police was always here and we were like, Something's happening in this house. Next door neighbor Jessica Schultz described Catanzaro as a nice person who would always say hi in passing. She was a really good person. It's very, it's very bad, all this. With missing person flyers still hanging in her neighborhood, Traeger told police he put Catanzaro's body in three trash bags before he dumped her in a trash bin and then waited until she was picked up and taken to the landfill. And investigators do say that canine units ultimately discovered traces of human remains inside of that landfill. As for Traeger, he does face charges that include murder and tampering with evidence. Here in Sunrise, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.